Don't you just love how awesome it is here in South America? Yeah, awesome and stable. I love it here. Hey, who is that? Oh, that's Lopez. He rules Paraguay. Don't worry about him. He's weird. Argentina? Uh-oh. So in 1864, Paraguay was run by a certain Francisco Solano Lopez. This guy was pretty weird. To say he was a Napoleon fanboy would be putting it very lightly. First off, he ordered French Napoleonic uniforms for his Army of the Wear, and after that he proceeded to make an exact replica of Napoleon's crown. You know, Lopez is the kind of guy that it wouldn't surprise me if he had an alternate Napoleon in his basement, but whatever. So even though Lopez was quite insane, he did know some stuff about conflict. He served in both Argentine civil wars and also was a military advisor during the Crimean War. So with all this knowledge, he decided to throw logic to the wind and declare war on Argentina, Brazil, and Uruguay at the same time. I imagine this is how it went down. Sir, the diplomats are here to speak with you. You know what? Maybe I don't want to talk to them. Let's just declare war on them. Sir, are, are you sure that's a, that's a wise idea? Excuse me, did I stutter? Okay, war it is. So when the war started, Lopez wanted to help a pro-Paraguayan party in Uruguay, but if you ever looked at a map, Brazil and Argentina are, are in the way of Paraguay to Uruguay. So once Lopez decided to invade his neighbors to get to Uruguay, the anti-Paraguayan party exiled the pro-Paraguayan party. You know... You had me right there, you know, you sly dogs, Uruguay. I hope you know I'm going to stab you. Once this happened, Argentina, and Brazil, and Uruguay became the originally named Triple Alliance. So welcome to the first meeting of the Triple Alliance. Our first task at hand is to come up with anything to beat Paraguay. Please, any strategies is a good strategy. Okay, hear me out here, guys. So... You both are bigger than Paraguay, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Where are you going with this one? So, why don't you guys just attack them? Oh, I see. So when you attack two countries with bigger militaries than your own, you usually tend to be invaded. Paraguay got invaded by both Brazil and Argentina, and at this point, almost all Paraguayan soldiers had been killed either invading Brazil and Argentina, or trying to stall the enemy in their invasions. So naturally, a guerrilla war started. No, not actual guerrillas, Jimmy, you idiot. Lopez was finally forced out of the capital when the alliance took... Asuncion in 1868. You'd think with how much of a nutcase Lopez was, you'd think he'd surrender right then and there, but shockingly no, he continued on for two years until he was killed in a battle in 1870. His supposed last words were, I die with my nation. Wow, such a dramatic fanboy. Hey guys, before you leave, I want you guys to go check the description for a Tom and Jerry meme I found while researching this video. It's pretty good. I would totally recommend it. It'll be the first thing in the description, so yeah, go watch it. And if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go fistfight a chimpanzee for toilet paper.